Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So today I'm sharing what might be the most nutritious soup recipe I've ever shared with y'all. Now of course, all of my soup recipes are healthy and nutritious, but this one's unique because of its anti-inflammatory and immune boosting ingredients. So we're gonna be making my golden soup recipe today. Now there's many variations of this soup recipe on the internet. This is just the way that I like to make it, but essentially it's a spinoff of the popular golden milk recipe and golden milk is a nutritional tonic that's been used in Indian Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years for its healing properties now golden milk gained a lot of popularity a few years back of course there's many variations of that recipe as well but whether you're making golden milk or golden soup like we are today the key ingredient in both of them is turmeric and by now we all know that turmeric has amazing anti-inflammatory properties so it's a great spice to start to work into your weekly meal prep routine, especially if you deal with a lot of inflammation. But this golden soup recipe not only contains turmeric, it's also loaded with lots of other nutritious vegetables and warming spices that are going to help to fight inflammation and boost immunity. That's why I love making this soup recipe whenever I'm sick because it's so soothing and healing to the body. It's also gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and vegan. And as always, you can print off the full recipe over on my blog. I've also listed the macros over there as well. Well, I'll have that linked for y'all in the description box below. But anyway, let's head to the kitchen and get started. First, let's go ahead and chop up all the vegetables, starting with one yellow onion. Onions actually contain a compound called quercetin, which may help to fight certain cancers and protect against heart disease. Plus, onions are also high in sulfur, which can help to support your body's natural detox pathways. You'll also need two stalks of celery. I like to chop them into about a quarter to half inch pieces, but there's really no wrong or right way to do it. You can chop them into whatever size you'd like. Next, let's peel and chop four carrots. And carrots are so good for you. They're loaded with beta carotene, potassium, vitamin K1, vitamin B6, and biotin. We're also gonna need three cups of cubed butternut squash. Of course, you can buy the already cubed butternut squash at the store to speed things up. But the butternut squash is really going to help to round out the flavor of this soup and make it more creamy and savory. Now you can also use cubed sweet potatoes here if you don't like butternut squash. Lastly, let's chop up one large head of cauliflower and I like to chop them into small to medium sized florets so that way they'll cook faster because ultimately we're going to be blending this soup anyway. But cauliflower is a very versatile vegetable because it can help to make things like blended soups more creamy without adding in a bunch of extra calories. Okay, we've gotten all the chopping out of the way. Let's Let's get the vegetables that we're going to be roasting into the oven first. We're going to be using these roasted vegetables as a topping to our soup. So in a large bowl, add in one cup of the cubed butternut squash, two cups of the cauliflower florets, and I'm also going to add one can of chickpeas. Make sure you drain and rinse them first. Into the bowl, add two tablespoons of avocado oil. Give it a toss to make sure everything's coated with the oil. Then add in whatever seasonings you'd like. You can keep it simple with just sea salt and pepper, but I'm also gonna add in some garlic powder, coriander, onion powder, and paprika. Mix that all together until everything is fully coated with the seasonings. And now let's spread those out evenly onto a lined baking sheet. And I'm gonna roast these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're tender. All right, while those are roasting, let's get started on the soup. In a large soup pot over medium heat, add in two tablespoons of avocado oil along with the chopped onion and just saute those until they're slightly soft and translucent. This usually takes about five to 10 minutes. Once they're slightly soft, add in two to three minced garlic cloves, which is about one teaspoon, and continue sauteing that for another two to three minutes. Now, let's add in all the vegetables, starting with the remaining cauliflower florets, two cups of the cubed butternut squash, the chopped carrots, and the chopped celery. And the secret ingredient to making this soup extra creamy without adding any cream is raw cashews. So I'm gonna add in one cup of the cashews. Let's give that a good mix and let that saute for about five minutes while we quickly mix up the seasoning for the soup. 
In a small bowl, add in one tablespoon of ground turmeric. And turmeric is the star ingredient of this soup recipe, and it's why this soup is so great at reducing inflammation. Turmeric contains a compound called curcumin, which has been shown to not only help reduce inflammation in the body, but it also helps to improve your overall health and well-being. Let's also add in one teaspoon of ground ginger. And ginger is also another spice that's great at reducing inflammation and boosting immunity. One teaspoon of black pepper, which helps to maximize the absorption of the curcumin in the turmeric. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One and a half teaspoons of coriander. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. One to two teaspoons of sea salt. And one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. And all of these warming spices are not only super beneficial to your health, but they're also going to take the flavor of this soup to the next level. All right, let's add those in and give it a good toss until everything is fully coated with the seasonings. Then add in six cups of vegetable broth. Turn the heat to high and bring it to a light boil. Then reduce the heat to low medium, cover the pot with a lid, and let that simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. While that's simmering, let's go check on the roasted chickpeas and vegetables. Once they're done, you can go ahead and remove those from the oven. And going back to the soup, after about 15 minutes, you can go ahead and check to see if the vegetables are tender enough. If not, let it simmer for another five minutes, but you do want them to be extra soft before you add them to the blender. And now I'm just transferring the soup a few scoops at a time into the blender and then blending it in between until all of the soup has been blended. Once it's all blended, you can transfer it back to the soup pot to keep it warm until you're ready to serve it. But this anti-inflammatory golden soup is so creamy and soothing. I love making it during the cold and flu season, and especially whenever I'm sick, to get in all of those immune-boosting benefits. Of course, don't forget to add the roasted chickpeas and vegetables on top, but I'm so excited to hear your feedback on this golden soup recipe. Well, all right, y'all, that's it for today's video. My golden soup recipe, and like I said, this one's great to make whenever you're sick or if you just want something that's very warming soothing and healing to the body of course if you give this soup recipe a try comment below let me know how you liked it and don't forget you can tag me in your food photos and your meal prep photos over on instagram and i will reshare that on my stories if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but that's it for today i'll see you on the next video bye